All right, so before we get into the actual video, uh, excuse the hair, because I really need a haircut, like really bad. But before we get into the video, there are going to be a few things that happen in this video. I'm going to be shooting Gary's music video. I'm not going to show a lot of BTS from that because I didn't have time to shoot a lot of BTS because it was just me there for the most part. But before the music video shoot, I do talk about a few things, such as going to the For The One studio. And I do end up going to the studio in this video. The studio was very nice. There was one part of the studio that I wanted to record, but we couldn't actually record it because they had photos going on and stuff like that. And people just, you know, not record them while they're, you know, doing their work. So we missed one big room, the main big room actually. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be putting a little snippet of Gary's new music video, Average. It did take a lot of creative thought to come up with multiple sh different shots in one location. It was kind of hard to like compose different shots at Discovery Green because there's only a few spots that you can record without getting many people in it. But one of the shots he didn't care, but the rest we kind of made it to where there's nobody in the shots. But I hope you do enjoy that part of the music video at the end of the video again. But make sure you watch the rest, get a little bit of the studio tour, get a little bit of me talking, some BTS, the music video, all that good stuff. Hope y'all enjoy it, you know, and yeah, good luck watching this video. I know I'm hard to watch sometimes. So currently right now I'm meeting Gary. I don't know how the audio sounds with the mic and how it's like just hanging out of my shirt because I don't have a um, tape right now. It's all in my backpack and my tape's falling off. So right now I'm heading to campus to meet up with Gary because we're gonna be planning out his music video we're gonna try to shoot his music video tonight or at least most of it we had some stuff shot on the 4th of July with the VHS camera that was just some like BS like vlog footage just like shooting fireworks and stuff but nothing like serious but just kind of fun stuff and we're gonna go ahead and try to get that all knocked out tonight it is a little bit of a stretch because uh, there's a lot of moving parts in a music video but Jersey is gonna come in clutch and like help us out he's gonna you know he's gonna bring some lighting for us he's gonna bring a gimbal and raven eyes just so we can have a more like professional and more seamless like production shoot production shoot more seamless shoot so in the last video when i actually demonstrated this car mount i didn't realize that i had the well i did realize i had the stabilization on standard but i'm trying out active stabilization because it's supposed to be a little bit better i know if i did no stabilization i'll probably get the opportunities like the gyroscopic data and like use uh, Catalyst Browse to like stabilize it in post. But I don't want to risk that because I don't know how it works. With my luck, I try using Catalyst Browse and it'll look like the version of Warp Stabilizer I've ever experienced. So I'd rather just do in-camera stabilization. Gary wanted to actually meet at 5 p.m. but it's currently 5 p.m. now and I'm just not leaving like left like five minutes ago but it's okay i mean he's never on time so it's it, it'll slide this time this might be a little bit different of an angle than the last time i try to kind of line it up because i just made a tiktok displaying this mount and it should have lined up pretty good i noticed that there was some like kind of like focusing issues on some of the clips on the test footage i probably didn't put it in the video though but there was some focusing issues um but this should be fine now like it looks a lot more stable from just looking at the little screen but again i could be completely wrong because the camera's also shaky so it's kind of hard to tell, but in my opinion, it does look a lot more stable. But this thing is so cool, bro. I, I am so glad I bought this and I invested into something like this because this is like the greatest thing. One last thing I didn't really mention in the last video is that the weight limit and all that is actually for inside the car. If you're planning to mount it to the outside of the car, then that's a whole nother story and you might not get the uh, same results. You might lose your camera at some points because it's meant for, you know, stable shots in a controlled environment. But when you have all the elements like the wind and stuff blowing against the camera, you're going to lose the weight capacity or the weight limit. So when I was talking about the six pound weight limit, I think that's for like in motion. And I think when I say in motion, I think again, that's what the element that I was talking about. I wonder if like people can see the camera through the window because it's it's not hidden. That, this thing is like sticking out as like a sore thumb. Oh, one more thing is that I actually got a reply back from that studio that I was telling y'all about a couple videos ago on one of my vlogs. And I think I'm going to go to the studio and get a little tour. I'm gonna try to, I need to message him because technically the tour is in like two days. It's on the second and today's the 30th. Yeah, so it's like three days away. I definitely need to email or text the guy that replied back to me and just be like, hey, is it possible to get like a filmer to come film me and like walk through the tour just to, you know, kind of show off the tour, uh, the studio itself. I've never really done like a studio tour or anything like that. I've really just been doing the BTS stuff and the editing videos, but I think a tour of like a studio would be like a cool little mix up in the videos. But I do want to try to bring as much different like variety of content as I can to the, to the channel just so it's not all the same stuff. I'm giving Gary the little test drive of the camera mount right now. He thinks it's sketchy, but I told him to have trust. Have trust in this little paracord. It is a little more sketchy in your truck because your handle's right here. Yeah. So it could fall, and if it falls, it falls back. At the same time, I'm here, so. You're doing a part of Gary's, your uh, music video? Average, my average song. We just shot two different scenes, or not scenes, no, it was like five different scenes. Yeah. We just shot like five different scenes at two locations at one location. Mm -hmm. Shot over here by the hill, and then we shot over there, but there's another hill over there, but uh -huh. so we just did. 
Yeah, you know, we're getting it done. Say goofy ass V. Okay. <laughs> That's the so, say that. So we're out here right now. We got Jersey. Jersey pulled up and he's uh, helping us. He's, uh, what's it called? Balancing the gimbal. Gary's uh, just, you know, being Gary. So. Gary's risen him up. Gary's risen up. He found two girls that are going to help us out with the video. So. Well, how about we, like, like uh, standing right here? I'm bouncing the ball. I like you, but I like the friend better. You know what I'm saying? How they look? As they're, like, just chilling here? Like, standing there. Like, they sit right here? Yeah. Yeah, right, we can do that. And I can follow you, like, I'm just using the video for reference, but, like, yeah. Like here, walk. This is just a sample yeah. shot. Ready? So, you know, like. so a couple weeks ago, I had made a video talking about how we met the lady at the coffee shop, and they finally got back to me. And today we're actually at their studio. I don't know if I'm gonna be um, making a tour video or not. If you see this video, obviously I did. I, have, I asked him, but I didn't get a response yet in time. So I'm just gonna walk in there and be like, "Hey, can we film? You know, the tour while we're doing it." And if they say yes, then we're going to have this video. So I don't really know what this day is going to consist of. Uh, I think it's just a tour. I'm really excited to tour this place because um, it looked like really dope online. So I'm really like excited to see it in person. So it's kind of a pretty decent sized like building too. So she she look really nice. Not a filmer. That's the funny part. Nice. She's just le holding my camera. Kind of helped her out with the settings now. Right now we're at the For The One studio. We're about to start the tour. And it's very beautiful in here. If, haven't, if you can show, we'll show around. <laughs> Okay. All right, All right. so oh, this sorry. is our first studio here. It's also an office, but mainly podcast studio. There's oh, okay. soundproofing in it. Really cool vibe in here. Yeah, very like spacious. Yeah, very spacious. This is our lobby area, conference. We do table reads here. Um, we host meetings here. Okay. Podcast is up on the TV. <laughs> oh yeah, they do a podcast. I was saying that there's some. These are some of the productions they worked on. Some of the rockets right here. Rockets. Are the Beach Boys are down there? Right a bunch of productions in here. Some product kind of things, some interview shots, commercials, like TV shows. Yeah, she, yeah, she told me, the, I think the project she told me it was like the Houston Rockets, you know, had like a bunch of the players come and stuff like that. Yeah, this is our smaller studio set up for podcasts right now. Is this where y'all do the podcast, the actual podcast? Mm -mm. No? We do ours downstairs in the main studio. Oh, okay. So y'all use Black Magics for like the video stuff? Mm hmm. Black Magics and the Sherman. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our lights are the, or off lights are Amron apertures. Okay, yeah, aperture yeah. lights are very good. Yeah, and the the main lights in the grid up there with Nova mm, apertures. Yeah. This is our control room, though. Hi. Um, he's editing back here. <laughs> oh, okay. But this is where we control the podcast. So that's a live switcher for the podcast. So oh, okay. don't have okay. to do too much in post. My name's Eric, by the way. What's up, Eric? Nice to yeah. meet you. Yeah, you can see down into that studio. You can see down into this area. Oh, okay, where the cast and are. Yeah. Just all one room to have everything. And in the, the studio as well. So. This girl over here playing music. <laughs> Sorry, the music's gonna copyright us. Can't have that copyright. Gotta get this bread if we eventually get paid. You won't get copyright for that one. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that was the. The what? That was the air gun. Yeah, I turned that down too. So they can hear us. All right, so we just got done with the tour. There was one room we couldn't record because there was like casts and stuff inside because they're doing a feature film. So we can't even like go in there because they're busy because they rented it out. Definitely a really dope studio. It is a uh, For The One studio. So if y'all live near, where are we at? Kind of near Spring, come check it out. It's a really dope studio. Yeah. Come check <laughs> Look, it out. And the, if the camera work was bad for this, this tour, it's because Jenica was That is not me. my fault. They keep on moving. <laughs> that's, how, that's, how, that's how a tour works. You got to walk through. You can't just sit there. Yeah. They're not following my lead. So. Yeah, following what your lead. Huh? Mm -hmm. So it's our fault? Okay. No, your fault. You're my fault. Okay. So right now we're about to go end our day off. Well, I say end our day off. I got other stuff to do. I got to do some uh, some homework and other stuff. Go ahead and follow all my social medias though. I'm about to end the video because I ain't got nothing else to put in this video. Um, I actually changed the car mount though from the last video, or at least the last video setting up the car mount, and I took the handle off. So now it's a lot higher up. So I like this a little bit better. I don't know how much how stable this magic arm is gonna be. I still have it hooked up with the the rope. You can't see it, but it's off camera. So hopefully this works out a lot better than, than what it did before. Go ahead. Make sure to follow my social media, Maria that Pasagi. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video. Instagram. All right, well, that's the end of the video, guys. Make sure you go watch the other videos and go learn something from me. I, I try my best to teach y'all. So yeah, have a good day. Goodbye. Okay, no. Look, I don't do no dope, but I'm on top like an addict. Now she wanna look at me cause I got the status I be on the scene watching TV, no static I told her